What's up everyone, JPR Tech here and today I'm gonna be showing you how to upgrade your MacBook Air's SSD storage. And the only option virtually we have right now is OWC's Aura SSD flash storage. And the reason is because Apple has a dedicated port for their PCI flash storage and we just can't use an MSATA one. So we need to use OWC's or upgrade using another used Apple original SSD. So in my case, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to use the OWC's upgrade kit. Now, what comes included in this kit is a bunch of things. Once you open it up, you're greeted with a few manual instruction pages, as well as the three-year warranty that is included. You also get Tor screwdriver, a couple of them, so that you could use it to open up your MacBook as well as remove your SSD. More importantly, with the kit, it comes with this awesome aluminum uh, enclosure for the original SSD that you're pulling out of the MacBook. So in theory, you're actually not only upgrading the drive inside the MacBook, you're actually getting an external SSD for your MacBook to use with your MacBook. And that is an awesome deal. So without further ado, let's get started with how to upgrade your MacBook Air. First of all, you want to back up your system. Personally, I use Time Machine. I never had trouble with it. It actually saved me a couple times when I needed to reinstall the machine, but I rarely use it because yeah, Mac Macs are pretty reliable. But anyway, back up. Next, we're ready to make our USB install this using this free soft call install disk creator for OS X. It's a utility that is very simple to use. Once you download it, it's literally, literally just open it up, select the USB device or the volume you wish to use to install the disk in. And actually the app automatically finds your OS X installer image file in the applications folders for you automatically but if you have a different one you could choose a different location and select the image file that you want to back up to the usb and then just hit create installer after a few minutes it was done with it and i had a usb installation disk ready to go once you're all done with the prep work we're ready to start surgery so just take the torque screwdriver that is included in the kit open up remove all the screws and open up the bottom plate of the macbook and from now on you want to make sure you are grounded or have at least try to remove as much electricity from your body as possible you don't want to fry anything or the motherboard so once you're all secure uh, go ahead and first thing we want to do is unplug the battery on the bottom left side of the motherboard once that's removed you're ready to remove your ssd so go ahead and use that torus T5 Torx screwdriver and remove the screw that's holding the SSD drive down. And once I remove it, before I went on, I went ahead and just stuck that SSD into the included enclosure. So that way I could keep the SSD safe somewhere outside, out of the way. Now, since everything is all open up, this is a good time to do a little housekeeping. It's been a few years since I cleaned the fans or this MacBook, so I went ahead and just start using a hand blower to blow out all the dust that has accumulated throughout the years. And now we're ready to put in our new SSD. So just do the opposite as removing the SSD. You wanna go in an angle and slightly push it in until it's tucked all the way in and the torch hole and the screw line up well. And then you could just screw the screw back in its place to secure the SSD. Now don't forget to plug the battery back up before we close everything and seal everything up. So once the battery is plugged in, put the plate back on its place and screw all the screws back in. Now we're ready to gather all the things to prepare for reinstallation process. So if you have previous, previously made a USB installation disk, go ahead and stick that in one of the USB 3 ports, plug in the MacBook to a power source, cause yes, installation does take a lot of time. And also if you do have data or an image that you wanna restore from, go ahead and have that on standby. So just power up the MacBook and hope everything is okay. In my case, yeah, everything booted just fine. It was normal. I went through the installation process without any hiccup. I also was able to start my installation and login process. 
Now in my case, I didn't want to restore to a previous install because I wanted to start fresh and get the best performance out of my four year old MacBook Air. So after the installation and the login process, I just started over from scratch, just installing every single soft that I, I previously had from the original Apple's SSD that is now in the external SSD enclosure. And after all said, it's said and done, I'm really happy with the upgrade. Now my next video, I will be posting benchmarks on the speed performance, as well as my personal opinion on the overall performance and upgrade of these OWC's upgrade kit. But as a spoiler alert, it does perform on par with the specification specs on their website. So just stick around for the next video for more details on that. And thanks again for sticking around for this tutorial on how to upgrade and maximize the storage on your MacBook Air. So don't forget to subscribe because again, my next video is going to be talking about more on the performance size and my personal opinions on the performance of the SSD and the external enclosure as well. So thank you again and we'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.